Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing an unboxing and first look of the Casanova boxing gloves that are made by Pro Boxing Supplies. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing an unboxing and first look on a quite controversial pair of boxing gloves, to say the least, the Casanova Boxing Gloves by Pro Boxing Equipment. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're saying, well, what does he mean by controversial? Well, for those of you that are familiar with the situation, I'm, I'm sure you know where this is going, but for those of you that are not, a while ago, from what I know, uh, Casanova Boxing is actually based out of Mexico. All their gloves are made in Mexico. I actually did a review on a pair of Casanova gloves years ago. They were black and red, Mexican-made gloves. Really nice gloves, not very comfortable, but nonetheless, still Casanova. Well, a while back, I guess they got into litigation with Pro Boxing Equipment, who I also believe goes under different other different names. They, they go by Casanova Boxing, they go by, kind of like what Tidal does, like they, Tidal has like Fighting Sport and Pro Max and whatever, they have all their little subbrands. Well, Pro Boxing Equipment, they're more known in my opinion for like their heavy bags. Um, I also think they also go under like Pro Boxing Supplies and Pro Boxing Incorporated. So they're an entire business based out of Southern California. As a matter of fact, I believe um, this glove came from their Laurel Canyon Boulevard location uh, in Valley Village, California. So uh, they went through litigation and Pro Boxing Equipment ended up getting or winning the rights to the name Casanova which has confused a lot of people that want authentic Casanova gloves from Mexico, but end up going to this website and ordering a pair uh, from this company. And I believe they're actually made in Pakistan. So uh, it's been very misleading. I know there's been a lot of, of kind of like uproar about it because the original Casanova ended up changing their name to Nakali boxing gloves. So if you're looking for an authentic pair of Mexican made Casanova gloves, then Nakali would be the company to go with. Uh, where I believe these, which I'm about to find out with you guys, uh, uh, are made in Pakistan. So I'm gonna stop talking. Let me go ahead and open up this box and see how these look. Now, I bit the bullet. These were actually $99. Um, I did run into some roadblocks with the customer service with Pro Boxing Equipment. Or Pro, they have so many names, I can't even Pro Boxing Supplies, Pro Boxing Equipment, Casino, whatever. Um, I didn't get a, I ordered the gloves. I didn't get an actual like notification that the gloves were shipped. So typically, when you order gloves online, you'll get an order confirmation, and then like a day or two later, sometimes sooner, you'll get a confirmation that the actual uh, package has been, has been shipped. I never got a confirmation that the gloves were shipped, um, even after like a week, a week and a half later. Um, so I sent them a DM. I didn't hear anything from them when I sent them a direct message on Instagram um, on both their pro boxing uh, supplies or equipment. Um, page or their Casanova boxing page. So I sent them an email, I sent them like two different emails. Um, and then they finally got back to me and I originally ordered a dark blue. Um, and they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have that in stock. Please call this number. I'm like, well, if you don't have it in stock, then why are you advertising on your website? You need to mark it out of stock. And number two, if I had never emailed you guys, would you guys have ever sent me my gloves or would you ever contacted me to say, hey, sorry, we don't have these in stock, or you would just sit there and take my money and that would be it. So uh, I wasn't really happy about that. They finally did send me my gloves. Part of me is wondering if they did send it to me so quickly because they knew, I mean, and not to put it that way, but they knew my profile. They were like, oh, C-squared boxing, let's make sure we get gloves out to him. Otherwise, you know, there's probably gonna be an uproar or whatever. But anyhow, they sent me the gloves. So here they are, um, Castanova Boxing. Uh, they say, made in Mexico, um, they're all wrapped up. You can see them there. And I actually think there's a piece of paper in the box as well, I think it's just the invoice. Yep, so Casanova, Bo oh yeah, I wanted to get them in green, now I remember. Casanova Boxing Professional Laser Training Gloves, green, 14 ounce. Um, and uh, this was ordered on June 12th. So what is today, the 20? Third, I don't know, 24, I don't know what the date is, but it's been a little while. So anyhow, that's that. 
But yeah, you can see it right there. Um, the casting gloves. Let's go ahead and rip open the packaging. And see how these gloves look. Okay, so got everything open. Here they are next to each other. It says Casanova Sports, CasanovaBoxing.com, professional. Um, it also says Deportes Casanova. Um, left and right glove. Um, my first impressions is these are definitely a Pakistan made glove. To, the, to me, they look very Pakistan made now. I would venture to say if they were smart, they would have probably not had a tag on the inside, which I know some companies do, which could be misleading, but they say, oh yeah, it's made in Mexico, but then they don't put the, maybe they have a tag inside and they remove it when they get it from the supplier or they don't. But I'm gonna go ahead and check on the inside and see if there's anything there. Uh, no tag on the inside and uh, no tag on the inside there. But um, the leather on here is definitely not a, a Mexican style leather. And, and you guys watching who have had Mexican gloves, whether it's Reyes, Genuine Casanova, um, Gil, Lopez, Zeppel, New Sporting, uh, I mean, there's uh, leaders, the Super Lead gloves. The leather on here definitely is not um, that's that Mexican style leather. This is. This is, to me, a Pakistan-made glove. At least it looks like it, and it feels like it, it even smells like it. Um, the fact that it says made in Mexico to me is, is very misleading. Um, you know, the hand compartment, the glove itself doesn't feel too bad, honestly. I mean, for a 14 ounce glove, they feel a little bit more on the compact side. Uh, you can see it kind of has like a Reyes style shape to it when you put them on. Go ahead and slide this one over. So in terms of the actual glove itself, if we were to kind of like say, okay, let's not worry about the branding of the glove. Um, to me, these are kind of like a mid-tier, like title boxing product, like similar to maybe like a step down from like the Promax gloves. Uh, but definitely the leather, I mean, it's full genuine leather construction, but the padding on the gloves, I'd say is more on the denser side. Um, I would veer to say that maybe they use like a multi-layer foam padding, maybe some kind of latex, uh, you know, combined with it in terms of the padding. Um, the thumb feels not too bad. I mean, I like the position of it. It does feel a little bit short if I make my make a fist, but not too bad. Um, the hand compartment does feel pretty comfortable in terms of like the width. Um, the grip bar is pretty large right there, so that's not too bad. I can make a fist pretty easily. Um, the inside liner has a satin nylon liner, nothing too special there. Um, it is a triple cuff style glove. I'd say that the back of the wrist has about an inch of soft padding. Uh, the inside of the wrist has about maybe three quarters of an inch and it goes up to right about there as well as padding on this side which is kind of like which kind of like disappears. There's no actual stitching where typically the padding will end where the stitching starts but there's no stitching on this side so it just kind of kind of ends off right there. You do have a leather attached thumb um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, no ventilated holes on the thumb or on the palm side. Um, and then just the cloth patch that's stitched into the triple cuff. So to me, these are a very basic glove. Um, you know, the craftsmanship on these are decent. And you know, this, looking at the stitching along the sides, uh, looks okay. It just ha it has like a very like strong kind of like a rubbery leather smell to it. Definitely not like Reyes. Um, again, if I can compare it to anything, I'd say that these are probably like closer to like a Promex type of glove. Uh, you have these long black flat laces with the plastic tips, nothing too crazy. Black piping on the palm as well as a real on the thumb. But yeah, I definitely get kind of like a, a generic Pakistan vibe from the gloves. And again, they wouldn't be bad just for a good, you know, a solid training glove. Obviously I still have to use them to see how they, they feel. But these are not <laughs> genuine Casanova. Uh, definitely not Nikali. Definitely not made in Mexico. I think it's misleading in, in my opinion. Um, why they would go that route, in my opinion, to say put Casanova on here when it's not really a, a Mexican glove. 
is beyond me and I just think it's tacky. But uh, the glove itself, you know, if you were to remove that label and just put uh, some other label titled boxing, it's not a bad glove itself. I just don't think you're getting what you're, you're looking for, getting what you're paying for if you do indeed buy this, this Casanova branded glove. So that's just my thoughts on that. Um, I'm gonna be using these um, in my training. I'll add them to the rotation, see how they hold up, see how they feel, how comfortable they are, and how they perform. And then I'll report back with a review video on these. Uh, but so far, they're pretty average in my opinion. Um, and if you're looking to get some real Casanova made in Mexico gloves. I'll put the link in the description box so you know what you're getting. If you're looking for these type of gloves, then I'll put the link in the description box as well for the pro boxing equipment versions. But make that, I want to make that clear that these are not made in Mexico and these are definitely not the same standard or feel as the original. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these gloves as well as the genuine Casanova slash Nikali boxing gloves, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.